Hello, this is Nick from ReviewOutlaw.com. Today I'm going to show you what the most profitable CPU coin is. Um, so to do this, we're going to go to ReviewOutlaw.com and I put a link in the show notes, but if you just click on most profitable CPU coin we're going to get right into it. Now I'm going to show you what it is today. Um, in a week from now that might change and a month, month from now it might change again. So it might change in, in one hour. Um, <laughs> what I'm going to do is show you what it is today and you're going to actually have to go and see and check the website out and see what it is um, right now because I'm not sure when you're looking at this. Today is February 4th, 2014. So um, and today the answer is memory coin. <clears throat> now, um, well, a couple of different questions you might have is, well, you know, what makes it the most profitable CPU coin or mined coin? Um, first, you have to understand there's different types of coins you can mine. Some are mined with a graphics card, um, some are mined with a CPU, and others um, are mined with USB keys like uh, Bit Bitcoin. Um, and there's different protocols and there won't get too complicated. Now um, let's go over quickly how I came to this conclusion. Um, I've, I'm using the software here CPU, uh, just the quick and easy CPU um, mining which I've done a couple of videos in before and I'll show you that best CPU mining software here, the simple uh, altcoin miner here and that's what we used um, to test them and to test it, I used uh, an i7, uh, 2.6 gigahertz, 6 gigs of RAM, uh, Windows 8, 64-bit, and that's important. You, if you're CPU mining, you really want 64-bit, whether it's Windows 7, Vista, uh, or 8, wouldn't recommend XP at all, but definitely get 64-bit. Now, a uh, couple questions you might have is, the faster the core, is that going to mine more coins? The answer is yes. So the faster the CPU, the better the mining. Um, your hardware, let's say even i5 core, the best way to, to figure out how many coins and how much money you're going to mine would be to go to CPU benchmark and find your graph, your um, your chip here. So let's say you have um, an i7 here, 270. So this is coming up at about a not 8,000 benchmark. Um, the benchmark that I tested on was about a 5,000. So you're probably going to get about double, um, around double. So now that you know kind of what your results are going to be, and that just take that loosely, that, that might change as the difficulty of the coining gets more difficult. Uh, you want to find out does your CPU have AESIN? Some of these coins use this, in, this kind of protocol or encryption algorithm. Um, and that's it basically it's built baked into your chip if you will so you want to kind of find out if your chip has that easiest way to do that is download the software here HWI info it's a free download it's freeware um, and I'll actually show you here on my system I already have it downloaded should already have it downloaded how it works so I'll just re-download it here so I'm just going to download the portable. It's pretty quick to download. So while that's downloading, I will continue through. So for, we're going to verify if you have this built on. That will allow you to mine much quicker. Uh, next thing is the date. These are the dates I tested, and this is the software I tested it with. So later on, there might be some new coins out there. Um, and I'm going to update the list as, as time goes on. Another thing important is I was mining 24 hours, um, not only when idle. So if you have a um, if you have a system at work, maybe you're mining only when it's idle. This might be slightly different. First coin we went through is the data coin. Um, got about 60 cents U.S. mined for 24 hours, and this is what I received um, in data coin. Now currently, data coin was worth. 23 cents. Um, if this price doubles or triples, quadruples, this might affect the profitability. So that's important to note. Um, proto shares, I received none. Reason being, 
uh, this the pool that, that I'm using to mine proto shares requires 0.3 coins to pay out and mine did not come to that. Now proto shares is valued at $12 per coin so that's a very high amount so if you mine for maybe a week you know you you might get up to a coin um, I just was doing a 24 hour test so in 24 hours I got none. Uh, if you have different results please let me know uh, below and try proto shares and if you get you know more in a 24 hour period than memory coin the winner let me know so I got three dollars and eighty cents um, from this coin now on my first test I initially had none and a friend contacted me and he said yeah maybe you should try it again but tweak these settings and I, I tweaked the settings and the, the main setting was I didn't have the A E S I uh, N I enabled um, and so what I did was I tried it with another chip. I did have enabled on the chip about 20 coins. Value is 19 cents right now per coin, so three dollars and eighty cents. What's great about this is a memory coin is a newer coin, so its value is most likely going to increase over time. So get the coins now when they're most profitable, and it will actually hopefully increase. Now, if you don't trust they're going to increase or you're a little leery about it, um, you could trade this in for bitcoins. Um, and I'll show you in another tutorial how to do that. But you can just go to exchange uh, right here on this link and you sign up for a free account and um, do a couple of trades. And um, yeah, then you have a Bitcoin, maybe a little bit more stable. I'll go through the other coins. Quark coin is one of the first coins I started mining. I got about 13 cents off there. It's been around longer, so it's harder to get these coins. Um, there's also Secure coin. Uh, been around for a good amount of time. It's almost a, a dollar coin. Um, not a bad coin to mine. The second most profitable coin, and it's the coin you want to choose if you don't have a CPU with the AES uh, NI enabled, is is Prime Coin. And the reason being is we got basically a dollar and ten cents out uh, out of that one in a 24-hour period. So what I'm going to do is open up this software here, just to verify and kind of show you what you what you need to be looking for, um, to really get that memory coin running right. So here's the different uh, features of my chip. If you notice here, it has the E A E S. I don't know. I can't say it, but um, it has it enabled here. If your chip didn't have it, it would be disabled um, and not show you that. So, yeah, I mean, the final thoughts were, um, you know, different things will affect your CPU mining, but this is definitely the coin you want to look into getting. Now, to verify that you are running the software correctly, go to memory coin in the software here. Make sure there's an X at the end of the YAM and also at the config there should be an X over here there should be an X right here and that will enable that uh, accelerated mining now if you run this and it comes up in the error message and it doesn't work it kinda crashes if you will run like and off this and take the X off this and take the X off this and then it should run, just not as accelerated. So you, but as fast. You know. So that's all I got um, for now, and I'll keep updating this uh, post as uh, the different coins come out, and the difficulty increases on some of these coins might change the amount of money you're going to get from it. All right, thanks for looking, and if you have time, please give me a, a like plus, and you, you can have time to do that. That'd be great. Thanks. I just wanted to say thank you for watching my video and if you have some time um, please click the subscribe button here and if you also liked it please give me the thumbs up like um, that will help me my videos out greatly in my channel and finally you can actually um, view uh, more about my posts and videos at reviewoutlaw.com and I put a link here in the show notes. Thank you.